Okay, we are now we in our in our last video we put in the recycle box, recycle bin. We put some things in there and we put in if you remember we put in word actually we could just put all four of these in. And sometimes you don't have to do anything. Now, those did not go in because they are not positioned on top of the icon. You see, here's the difference. You see when I put that? It's right on top of the recycle bin, the letter A for access. But it's not lighting up. It's not giving me the, the, that little perimeter around the... Um, the recycle bin. So I now realize it's not going in there. All four of those should have gone in. What you need to remember is that when you put something over the recycle bin, you see the little square box around it? Exactly. Now it says move to recycle bin. So I'm going to put this one back. I'm going to marquee select. And when I move all four of these over, now you see the recycle bin has a square around it. And it doesn't matter which one, as long as that square lights up. Now I'm going to let the mouse go. And voila, they're gone. Now, how do we get them back? We want to right click and we want to open the recycle bin. Now, here's the fun part. I'm gonna shrink this, oops. All right, right click, open. I'm going to put the mouse here on the corner. You see the arrow head is now shrinking my dialog box, so now I can fit it right in. I'm going to put the mouse right here on the edge, and I'm going to practically close that off, and I'm going to scroll down. Now, instead of me having to search for this, I'm going to do a different kind of, I'm going to do a search, but I'm going to do it differently. If you notice here, you can put, it says name, and then when you put the mouse, if when the mouse hovers over it, you can click right in there and now we have Z through A and now we have these little wavy lines are called tildes and this means that this is basically starting at the beginning. Well, instead of me having to go through all of that, I'm going to go to, with the date. And this is 9-26-15, well that was last year, so I'm just gonna click here one time and there they are these are the ones that I created a few minutes ago so now what I want to do is these are considered pictures as you see here I'm going to put the mouse right here instead of dragging it over this way I'm just going to put the mouse right here you've got a double headed black arrow I'm going to double click and it straightened the, the the column out all by itself. So now these are the ones that I was looking for. I'm going to hover the mouse over these. I'm going to right click and I'm going to restore. I'm going to move this over so when we restore this you can see. Alright, so now I'm going to right click and put the mouse right back on top. I'm going to right click, I'm going to restore. There's one. Here's the next one, access, Excel, PowerPoint. All right, now I'm going to marquee select these again. I'm going to put them back in the recycle. This time when I open the recycle bin, I'm going to open it again. It's going to come down here. 
gonna go again with the del with the date here. Here they are, a few minutes later. But instead of me doing one at a time, I am going to do it this this way. I'm gonna select the first one, hold down the control key with your other hand, and then just lightly tap the second one, lightly tap third one, lightly tap. And that will let me select. However, there is a different way to do this. This time, I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to select the first one. I have it selected right here. And this time, I'm going to hold down the shift key. And then I'm going to select the last one, which was Word. And you see, I was able to get all of those at the same time. So the shift key lets me select whichever one I want first. Then you hold down the shift key, and then you select whichever ones that you want underneath that particular one. That's what the shift key does. However, when I select this one and hold down the control key, now not only can I select them one at a time like I did before, I can now select just the ones I want. The control key lets you cherry pick the ones you want. So now I can right click, restore, and I can hold down, the, select the, the one I want, which is PowerPoint, and in this case I can do either one. I can either hold down the shift key and get the second one, or I can cherry pick, see that, cherry, control, both C words, and then I've selected both of them using the control key this time. Click Restore. And there they are. So now I have all four of them back in my back on my desktop and I'm marquee selecting them all over the place and just moving them as a unit, as a group. The other thing about the recycle bin is I can empty the recycle bin or I can open it up. I've got a bunch of photographs in here. And again, I can hold down the shift key and select and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to delete. And this time it says, do you want to permanently delete 12? And I'm going to say yes, because these pictures do take up space. And then here, I select the first one. And then maybe I said, well, you know what? Maybe I want this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Right click and delete. Or if I'm in a hurry, then hold down the control key, hold down the, I'm sorry, the shift key, and then I can just scroll down all the way while holding down the shift key. And there we are. And it tells me right down here I have 158 items selected. I'm going to right click going to delete. And I am now deleting 158 items. And now I've got all kinds of, of things that I, I can delete. Some of these are duplicates, some of these are, you know, things I didn't want. So here I can restore all the items. No, 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 no or I can just empty the recycle bin. So do you permanently want to delete all the, and I'm just gonna say yes. Look at that. 
I even got some space. So now I have space on my computer and that is how you think you may have um, accidentally created uh, a deleted something but the recycle bin will save you. Now this lets me create a shortcut. We know how to do that. This also lets me rename it. You know, we can call it cute recycle bin. And again, remember how we, we, we do this. You can hold down the shift key and type in can put a space in there, hold down the shift key to capitalize. Remember the shift key requires opposite hands. If you hold down the shift key with your left hand, you capitalize uh, with the right hand. And if you hold down the shift key with the right hand, you capitalize with the left hand. Now I've typed in recycle bin, press the enter key, and everything is right with the world. So, I will see everybody in the next video. Thank you for watching.